Now to an ABC News exclusive, never before seen footage of a child's daring escape from unimaginable abuse at the hands of her parents. Two sisters, Jordan and Jennifer Turpin, speaking out for the first time to Diane Sawyer about their lives in a house of horrors, children held captive, near starvation, some of them chained to their beds. Diane is here this morning. What an incredible, incredible story. Oh, thank you. It is so good to see you. And I want everybody to know that this story is proof that out of horror can come such a beam of light and hope you would not believe it. Now, the girl you're going to hear is 17 years old. She sounds much younger, but she knows she has one chance to get out and save her 12 siblings. And when she slips out the window, you have to remember that she has never talked to a stranger. She doesn't know about street signs. She doesn't know her house address. She doesn't know where she is. She's just going on faith and terror that is equaled only by her courage. This is 911. Do you have an emergency? Um, I just ran away from home. Do you know what street you're on? Um, no. Uh, I just ran away from home because I was in a family of 15, okay? Can you hear me? And we have abusing parents. Did you hear that? Okay, how did they abuse you? Okay. They hit us, they throw us across, they like to throw us across the room. They pull our hair, they, they yank out our hair. I have two, my two little sisters right now are chained up. Okay, how Did old you are you? I'm 17. What's your name? Jordan Turpin. Okay, I'm gonna connect you to the service department so that they can help what? you. One moment, don't hang up. I won't. A second dispatcher picks up. Hello? Oh, yes, I'm still here. Nearly four years later, this is Jordan Turpin remembering that night. My whole body was shaking, and when I was holding the phone, I remember the phone was, sh like, I couldn't really dial 911 because I'm sorry. Shaking too much? Yeah, I was shaking again, so I was trying like to to dial 911, but I couldn't even get my my thumb to press the buttons because I was shaking so bad. But um I was like trying to like calm down. Thank you so much. Um I was trying to like calm down so I could I could um to do it and then I finally like pressed it and then they answered I literally never talked to somebody on the phone and I was telling them everything we don't go to school we live in filth how we starve and all this stuff I had to make sure that if I left we wouldn't go back because and we would get the help we needed because if we went back there's no way I would be sitting here right now I don't know how you had the courage, never having spoken to anyone like that. I think it was like us coming so close to death so many times, and like I was worried about my siblings, and when I saw them crying and worried, I just felt like I had to do it. Like, like I, I just wanted to do it. I wanted to help everyone. Hi. Is that the deputy? Okay. Um, yes. Go talk to him, okay? Yes. All right, bye-bye. Hi, Jordan. You are looking at the body camera footage from the deputy as he arrives. Hey, what's going on? Okay. I just ran away from home. Okay. And I live in a family of 15. Okay. My two little sisters right now are chained up. They're chained up? Yes. Where are they chained up at? On their bed. Now, mother didn't chain them up just to be me. Okay. Perfect. They're chained up because they stole mother's food. Uh-huh. But I'm sorry if I talk too much. Okay. I've never talked to anybody out there, so I don't, I don't I've never been alone with the person, so <clears throat> this is very hard for me to talk. Okay. How did you, do your parents know you left your house? No, they don't. Do you take any medication? What's medication? Medication? Yeah, what's medication? Do you take pills? Do you take pills? Oh, I don't think I've ever taken a pill before. Okay. 
Right, I have it. Um, but... The girl with the strange vocabulary nervously puts on a little hat, a reminder of one of her sisters right. who's depending on her. Our parents are abusing. They abuse us. But the reason I called and the reason I managed to get out here, this is one of the most scary things I've ever done. Uh -huh. I'm terrified. But I called because my two little sisters, they're chained up right now. The deputy, a nine-year veteran of the force, is not sure what to make of this 17-year-old girl who looks so much younger. He is ending a graveyard shift, and it's been a hard night. Robbery calls, assault calls, deputies were shot at. He responded to the runaway call because he knows how they usually end. You take the kids back home to reconcile with their parents. I decided to take it, uh, thinking, hey, it just, this might be a good way just to end my shift. And then, on instinct, he asks a question. Do you have pictures of that? Yes, I can show you. I actually didn't have it, and then one of my sisters told me I need to get pictures. You have pictures of your sisters chained up? Yes, but uh, they're, yeah, they're in here. Okay. I, I don't have proof of everything, but I have proof that my sisters are chained up. So see? She doesn't seem to know the word bruised. Yeah, you can look at that. See, those are the places that make it known that. And see how dirty she is? We are so filthy. We, we, we don't take baths. We don't. How did your sisters get like this? OK. Your parents chained them up? Yes, because they stole food. OK. But they stole it because they were hungry. Who took this picture? I did. I took those pictures. <laughs> OK. You make sure to save these, OK? OK, I will. Don't get rid of those. I will. I won't. And by the way, the deputy turns out to be one of the heroes of this night of miracles for her. And you'll also be meeting her sister, Jennifer, who helped her plan this escape in the most amazing way that will be coming up. You say that this is a story only matched by their courage. I mean, they are just, it is profound how brave these girls are. And how, as I say in the piece tonight, they invented light. It wasn't around them. They had to invent it. Mm. Wow, Diane, thank you. Thank you and to your team. Escape from a House of Horror, a Diane Sawyer special event airs tonight on 2020 at 9 p.m. Eastern right here on ABC and, of course, then streaming on Hulu. What an unforgettable story. Just incredible. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.